My name is Aaron Walsh, uh, formerly a faculty at Boston College from 1999 to 2000, uh, 2023. So last year, I left the university to direct a foundation based out of Switzerland focused on education on blockchain. Uh, there are a lot of things that set it apart. Um, we spent two semesters evaluating blockchains, and after two semesters, uh, Internet Computer was clearly the one for the work that we were doing. Um, one of it was the uh, gasless uh, transactions. That was really important to us. We were building uh, educational technology on top of uh, the chain, and so the transactions facilitating those is easier uh, when there's no gas involved. Uh, the other is data storage. We have a lot of student data that is stored on blockchain, and uh, prior to Internet Computer, it wasn't feasible on other chains. Uh, but I would have to say that was what got us into ICP. But what really is exciting to me is the AI. Uh, a lot of the work we're doing is with AI, and so we're focused primarily on that. Um, I, well... As I said, I'm most excited about the AI because that's a big part of what we're doing. We have a collaboration uh, in partnership with the United Nations for it. And so our focus on AI is really important. And it was recently seeing that AI was happening on-chain uh, for Internet Computer that encouraged us to begin really developing it all on-chain. And so I'd say what I'm excited about is really seeing that develop. Um, but I would also like to see over time uh, data storage tiers. So we have, for each student, gigabytes and upon gigabytes of data, uh, and maybe even terabytes, uh, depending on how much material we put online. So I'd like to see, uh, over time, data storage tiers uh, that facilitate the usage of uh, massive amounts of data on the Internet computer. Sure. Well, for, well, for education in particular, uh, we are concerned with quality materials, quality teaching, uh, accurate and, and uh, information that can't be changed or altered once it is codified, meaning once we've agreed that this is what we're going to teach, having that be untamperable and unmodifiable is critical. So having AI on the blockchain affords us the ability to use AI without worries of bias, misinformation, or hallucinations, the idea that AI is making things up. That's pretty well known. Um, recently, some research has come out of MIT showing that AI systems uh, can and do, in fact, practice deceit. And so the concern is that they are masquerading and sort of adapting uh, in ways that we don't even understand as a critical concern. And those are things that we cannot have uh, in education. I would say in all forms of AI, primarily those are concerns. But for education in particular, we need to ensure that the AI is uh, accurate and honest and uh, provably so. And so AI on on-chain for us is particularly useful in that regard. Well, I think I ICP right now is the only one that can do it. Uh, AI, if you're doing a traditional uh, large language model on, on any subject, you've got huge amounts of data. It's massive. It takes a lot of compute power, a lot of data storage, and time. Those things are costly even in a traditional compute environment. Uh, with the recent advent of AI on ICP, the promise is that we can do all of those things at scale on-chain. And so it allows us to use AI for education entirely on-chain uh, and solving all the issues that you would normally have with an AI system but on-chain. So the, the challenge, I think, is the compute power and the storage, but it looks to me that Internet Computer is uniquely positioned to solve those issues. I'm excited for the AI field in general. I have to say, you know, this is one of those things that comes around uh, once in a lifetime. And in our case, it is in fact happening in this lifetime. So just in general, I'm excited about AI. I'm excited about AI that is, uh, as, I, as I've mentioned, is accurate and provably um, honest. Those are really critical issues for not just for education, but for humanity. So seeing that we have all the power of AI but we also have a lot of the worries that people are speaking about potentially resolved by having it on chain and on ICP in particular. I think it's an exciting time, and I'm looking forward to seeing it develop and being part of it. We're helping to develop. 
I'm happy to be here for the third anniversary. Uh, so we spent uh, a full year analyzing the potential blockchains that we could do our work on. Uh, we recently have partnered with the United Nations to bring our work forward uh, globally. And so to be part of the ICP community at this early stage and to be able to contribute uh, what I think is hopefully a meaningful contribution to the community, it's great to be here. It's great to meet the people that I've been online with for a long time and meeting a lot of new people. So I'm happy for for the event and I'm looking forward to what we're doing together over the next, I'll say, decades.